Hey guys, today I want to explain a little bit about a cylinder head rebuilding. I know we've talked a lot about that. What I've got here is a set of small block Chevrolet heads that um, are the earlier style heads. The, uh, the, the date code on these is 1970, 71, somewhere in there. One of the things that we uh, have to deal with on these early cylinder heads, the cast iron heads in particular, is the fact that they have what they call an integrated or an integral seat. Now what that means is the seat is actually made out of the cast iron material of the head. And when the unleaded fuel went away back in the early to mid 70s, uh, or when the leaded fuel went away rather, I'm sorry, we went to all unleaded fuel. Well, the problem is, is the lead on those earlier heads created a cushion between the exhaust valve and the exhaust seat. And so when that went away, the, the problem we had is the exhaust valves didn't have a cushion uh, between the seat and the valve. And the seat is the area of the head where the valve actually closes and seats. Your valve comes into the cylinder head and there's a seat in here and the valve is going to close against that seat. Um, that seat, I have a seat right here, it looks like this. This is one of the inserts that we use. So that valve is going to go up and it's going to close against this seat. Well, the lead was removed from the gasoline and so all these cast iron seats, um, especially the exhaust seats, they started getting hammered up into the head. They were, they were literally pounded into the head. The seat would sink, which in turn would cause the valve to, the valve height to raise and then you'd lose your spring pressure and you'd lose your seating capability and it was just a big mess. And the head basically just took a dump on the, on the engine and, and wouldn't function anymore. So what we have to do, like in this set of small blocks here, I'm gonna walk you through this so you understand it. Let me get this out of the way here. We have a, cylinder head set up on the machine here and what we've done is if we we have taken and we have installed a hardened seat insert we bored that out and we have a we have a boring tool that looks very similar to this this is what they call a counter bore cutter and it goes in there and we set up the size here because it's adjustable and we figure out what size our seat is. Now this seat is a press fit so the seat actually has to be larger than the counter bore so we adjust this so we have an interference fitter. In other words our cut is going to be smaller than the diameter of the seat and then we actually force these or press these into the head. So that's kind of what we've done here and if you see we've got hard seats in here. Now these seats that I've put in were a little deeper than I would like for this cylinder head. So I didn't cut the hole uh, as deep as the depth of the seat. So what we ended up with is the seat here is actually sticking up slightly above the head. So I have the, uh, the lip of the seat sticking up above the head. So what I did is I have another cutter that we've gone in here with and you can see we've cut the tops of these seats down so that they are flush or actually a little below the surface of the head. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to cut this last one here so you can kind of get an idea of you know, what's going on with this thing. So. the table here and this is our this is our pilot now this pilot is going to go down into our valve guide and that kind of is what guides us in we have a sleeve and then we have our cutting tool these are carbide cutters so we're just going to cut the top of that down our sleeve is going to center this on the pilot and then we're just going to bring this right over to the cutting head here this is our our cutting head and so we're going to come right down on that. Let's move this in a little so we can get a good shot of this. So we're going to bring our cutting head down and I'm just basically going to trim the top of that seat off because it's really not at the height I want it to. I want it just it's sticking up. I can feel a lip there. So we want to 
cut that. I just want to trim that down. Check our progress here. It doesn't take much. These cutters are pretty, pretty effective. So, and that's perfect. I'm just below the surface there. That's all right. Now th this is just the initial cut. We're going to do some more cutting to actually get the angles on this. So the next thing is we want to get all these uh, chips and stuff out of here. We have to put our pilot in there, and we sure don't want any chips getting in there between the pilot and the guide. So we have a cutter here. This is a this is a cutter that's going to go in and cut, and it has multiple angles on here. We have a fixture where we put the the valve that we're going to use in this hole. In this case, it's a the valve head diameter is one inch six hundred thousandths. So we'll put our pilot back in there. Put a little spring on here to give us some resistance and there's our cutting tool. You can see that cutter is going to go down and cut that. We'll put the appropriate driver in the machine here. And we're just going to come down. Now this cutter has, I've located it with the fixture so that it basically matches the valve that's going in here. And this cutter has all the angles on it that we need. Uh, it's actually a three angle cutter and we're doing what we call a three angle valve job. Well, you'll be able to see this thing as it goes down. We're actually gonna put all three of those angles on that, on that seat. That's how we do it. So now that seat is ready to accept the valve that goes in there. We're also we're putting actually larger valves in this head than it had originally. And so we're, we're making the valve sizes larger because we want to get a little better breathing out of this engine. We're also going to put a, a larger intake valve in. This is our intake valve that's going in there. So we're going to have to modify this intake seat here because obviously you can see how far that's sticking up. That, that seat is not compatible there. Our exhaust seat, however, is finished and it's ready to accept our exhaust valve. We put new guides in, in here. And there's a little bit of de debris and so forth in here, so I'm gonna have to clean that out before I get this guide in. 